What's going on guys, Tyler here and welcome to the League One playoff semi-final first leg between Charlton Athletic and Doncaster Rovers. Today is the away leg up in Doncaster at the Keepmoat Stadium and I have been excited for this game all bloody week. This game will not be easy. Doncaster are a very good side in this league, of course, having finished sixth in the League One, league one last uh, this season. They've got the likes of John Marcus, who was their top scorer and brilliant um, in this year. Malik Wilkes on loan from Leeds, absolutely fantastic talent. Herbie Kane, another loanee. James Coppinger, Ali Crawford, Marco Morosi in goal. They've got a lot of key men. As for Charlton, our whole squad is available today. Falls to Kasky's match fit. Williams is back. Igor Vettikele, though, is sidelined with a tight thigh injury. I'm going to say either a one-all draw or Charlton are going to nick it late and win 2-1. It's going to be one of them two. It's going to be a very close game, very tight. Doncaster are going to create a threat, but let's go up to the Keepmo Stadium for the first time and let's hope that Charlton can take an advantage back to the Valley on Friday night against their opponents, Doncaster. Come on, you Reds! Beautiful scenery. That would have been a moment for Charlton fans to celebrate. Parker, Josh Parker has just put the ball in the back of the net. And Doncaster have been awarded a free kick. I don't know what for, didn't see it. But Parker's moment could have shot there. He put the ball in the back of the net, but it's been disallowed. And I could Josh, keep your head up, mate. Come on. Jesus Christ, we've got left. Look there, Lyle Taylor just pulled off the worst dive I've ever seen in my life. Doncaster got put through. Nabi Sar headed it away very badly. Luckily, they spooned the shot and it went wide. Taylor's got to stop doing that, man. He's going down far too easily, mate. You need to calm down and stay on your feet. He's got a lot of space in the edge of that box. Look out. Run out. Both teams seem to be sitting back quite a lot. I've noticed that Charlton are... I guess you could say operating a five back with Bielik sitting far back at centre back, sitting a lot far back than he normally does. But Doncaster are getting their shots away and we haven't been. Well, rarely haven't been, to be honest. Donny are getting their shots off, so we need to be honest, our final third hasn't really been coming to anything, so hopefully, so hopefully we get more. Hopefully we get more out of them. But Donny are getting their shots off. Come on, let's pile on the pressure and get some action in the final third. Come on, Charles. Donny came really close there, managed to get shot off and into the box. Acres of space. Phillips pulling off an unbelievable save to keep us in it. Go! 
Time here at the Kibo Stadium in the playoff first leg. It is Doncaster Rovers nil, Charlton Athletic two. Honestly, I'm still in shock from that second goal. I'm, I'm struggling to breathe properly. I, I'm really taken aback. I'm going to be honest. I honestly thought Doncaster were going to score first. They were getting their shots off. Had a brilliant free kick where Phillips actually just about got a touch to it and hit the bar. Lucky to get away with a goal kick there. They got some shots off and then I've just uh, looked back at the goal that I managed to get for Lyle Taylor. It was kind of like bundled over the line. It was kind of like a lot of deflections until Taylor's put in a diving head on and has got it in. And literally minutes later, brilliant play from Taylor. Like the skill pass he played in was unreal. Then I think it was Morgan or Cullen passed the ball down the right hand side. It was put back in by Taylor and Arebo scores a tap in to make it 2-0. I honestly, we went mad. The teams are coming back out now. It's currently 2-0. I think if we can grab a third goal, then Doncaster are over. They're dead, that's it. We've done it. But at the moment, Doncaster can still come at us. They've still got some attacking threat. Malik Wilkes is brilliant for them, absolutely fantastic for them. But let's keep up the same intensity, grab another goal and close this tie down for good. What's a first half, come Charlton. out now. Don't mind that, well done Josh, good game today. Man. Oh, lovely Ben. Oh. Burnley could have been 3-0 there, Taylor for the ball in the box. Josh Cullen, a free header unmarked, slow ball, but it just saved him by Morosi. Charlton have a corner, could this be 3-0? Oh. Draws in.
We're in the 83rd minute of the game. I'm going to be honest, there hasn't really been much to report in the second half. Neither team have really had that much attacking chances. John Castor haven't really had much in their locker to respond to our two goal lead, really. Come close a couple of times, had their, had their chances, but nothing really coming to them, nearly for either team, really. It's been a pretty, uh, pretty average, boring second half, to be honest. Cholton looks like they're going to hold on to a 2 0 lead, taking an advantage to them in the second leg of the valley. <laughs> Well done, Sean. Go on, Darren. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Stay Tom Cross to score with about three minutes to go in normal time. Now is not the time to give this up. Tom Cross to one, Joe and two. Advantage to Nemo, who's throwing athletic. See you all later.